Welcome back, boys and girls. We are going to continue on with Pokemon Stadium in the Gym Leader Castle. We're going to take on Cinnabar Gym's Blaine. <laughs> and his gym has Judah Boy, Psychic, Nerd, and Blaine. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to go with our registered set of Pokemon that we have. Uh, this is the randomized team that we got in our blue randomizer. Uh, the link in for that playlist is in the description below, so please go check it out. Oh, this is going to be super easy. Oh my god. Lightning, Puff, and then Jelly. It's a super easy fight. They have nothing but like fighting type Pokemon. Hitley. And an Ice Beat. Oh, you, you, oh, you're running away. Okay, he's running away. Nido King. Okay, I think Ice Beam still does massive damage. I think Ice Beam is still good because it is ground type now. Yep, super effective and a critical hit, so that's it. That bye bye Nido. Nido Nido just dies. <laughs> that was too good. All right, Primate. All right, so I know your three Pokemon Primate, Hitmonlee, and, and Nido King. Ice Beam in it. It'll survive. An Ice Beam once I critically hit it. Yeah, it'll survive. It might even survive another Ice Beam attack. Since I only dealt 140 damage, this might go bring you down to just one. Oh, no, no. Took you out. Took you out. All right, so Hitmon Lee's up next, and that should be a relatively easy fight. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. We're down to the last Pokemon. The remaining Pokemon count is. All right, should be able to just Ice Beam Hitmon Lee to death as well. So this should be relatively easy. All right, we got pumped. Okay, so we're gonna ice beam it again. That's a good hit. Continue on. You take on the psychic type Pokemon. Or a psychic type uh, person. Or a psychic person. He does have a lot of psychic types. Uh, so, again, we're going to bring Jolteon, Jelly, and Flyweed. So, Jolteon, Jelly. Alright, got those. Since I have the C stick on my thumbs, on, on the thumbstick of a PS4 controller, it does, I don't know if I'm always registering the correct move. Yeah, so I'm just going to try to Ice Beam them all to death until Jinx comes out. If Jinx decides to come out, then I'll use Fire Punch. <clears throat> I have high crit chance. I have a high chance to... Uh... Oh, crap. Don't put me to sleep. Don't put me to sleep. Alright, cool. So I have a high chance to crit, and I also have a high chance to freeze you. I have a 30% chance to freeze, I think, or 10% chance. But I think I have like a 50% chance to crit. <clears throat> you gonna try to put me to sleep again? I failed again? Okay. So I'm gonna Ice Beam again. I mean, hopefully this takes out Hit Penza. It took out Hit Hypnenza. The Hypnenza's out. I don't like that like his gym is like just over lava. Like, how do people even get out here? Genenza. Alright, Genenza will go down to some fire punches. Oh, you're gonna toxic me? 
not a, no effect. Wow. This this has been probably my luckiest battle so far of not getting anything done to me. I wouldn't mind getting toxic. I mean, I take you out, I, I take poison damage, and then the third Pokemon comes out, and I should be able to survive. Broenza. Oh, a Slowbro Ice type. Crap, I don't know if Slowbro is Ice type or not. Let me use Ice Beam to see if he is. If he is, then that means I could just use Fire Punch. Yeah, that, that means he's Ice type. Oh, don't lower my special, don't lower my special. Damn it! Every single time I get hit by hit by Psychic, it always lowers my special. Every single time. What, what? Oh, your water ice type? Wait. No, you can't be. Alright, let me use Hydro Pump against you. What are you, Water Psychic? What will it do? I thought if you're a Water Psychic, you don't. You take normal damage to Ice type moves. Oh, well, let me see if I can try to freeze them so I don't die. Oh, there we go. Alright, let me just use Fly. Frozen solid. I mean, I still have a free turn. But I can switch Pokemon, but I don't think it'd be good for me to. Yeah, I think a, another fly will take it out. But even if it un, even if it becomes unfrozen, it still loses a turn. Okay. Yeah, we should be able to just take it out right here. here comes the aerial yeah, there we go. Yep. Yeah. That works. And there goes the battle. All right. We didn't lose a single Pokemon that time. Next up is the nerd. Nerd. I think it has electric type on the Uh, kind of, I guess. Uh, so lightning puff dragonite is what I'm gonna go with. I mean, he's got some decent Pokemon, and he's got some not so decent Pokemon. Laxnor, crap. I don't have anything good against him, so I'm gonna hope to freeze him. Ice beam. It is my strongest move and most accurate move. Here's the first move. A decent hit. I dealt over 100 damage with it. Self-destruct? What? Wow. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? Wow, they're down. Why? <laughs> oh my god. What? Why did he use self destruct? Oh, it's Django. Oh, it's Monster. This, this sucks. Two different types of I think he's also Ice type. If he is, then I'm. S that? Then this sucks. Yep. 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 I think that's normal type move. Um, I'll just use strength. Let me see if I can just normally take him down. Wait, what? Alright, that's it. I'm switching to Dragonite. I'm just gonna use Thunderbolt on him. 
Do not use Ice Beam. Do not use Ice Beam. Wait, what? He didn't attack. What? This game is broken. He didn't attack me. I don't think I like he needs a turn after using Clamp. Let him go. Alright, well Golem cannot self-destruct. That is against the rules. But if he used he, if he brought out Sorlax, self-destruct, and then brings out Lemgo and self-destructs, then it would have been like a horrible like 1v1. Oh man, that was a that was an interesting start to a battle though. Coming out and immediately using self-destruct, that was a, a way interesting start. Way way more interesting than I ever would have predicted. I was not ready for that. Alright, last up is Blaine with his fire type Pokemon. I should be able to just use Jelly or really any Pokemon, but Jelly would be the most effective. Yeah, yeah. So, Jelly off Lightning is what I'm going to bring out against him. This is it! The showdown against Blaine! The leader of Cinnabar Gym is a. Alright, yeah, you're bringing out Charizard. I'm going to surf. Oh, you're not you're not switching Charizard back out? Okay. Oh wow, Charizard goes down in one hit, man. Who would have guessed? A fire type Pokemon against a water type Pokemon? Who would have ever guessed? <laughs> ah, profitable. Ah, uh, shit. Mm. Now, let's just try to poison you. I don't like that Sludge is not like a normal move that Tentacruel would not or can learn. Oh, wow. Poison. <laughs> Immediately voiced it. Come on, you're poisoned, bitch. Take 1 16th of your, of your health every single turn. <laughs> ah, shit. What's that? That one hurt. Wow, a critical, super effective hit that dealt half damage to me. I am surprised that that only dealt half damage to me. It was a critically super effective hit. I am surprised that Tentacruel is able to survive these. And yeah, we take down Clefable. All right, we have one Pokemon left to go up against. I don't think this would be that easy. You know, if he brought out Clefable, like, come on. Any Pokemon you bring out, I have super effective moves against. Every single one of my Pokemon knows Surf. Never mind. My other two Pokemon know Ice Beam, though. I'm going to sludge it, try to see if I can poison it. I think it's going to take me out. Ooh, Earthquake. Oh, shit. Earthquake. Shit, my other two Pokemon cannot handle an earthquake. Yeah. The next Pokemon is um, let's bring out Puff. I just know for a fact my neck, these two Pokemon cannot handle an earthquake. The remaining Pokemon stock is. Let's use Ice Beam. Let's hope to freeze them. Or deal a fuck ton of damage. That's not bad. Let's hope to survive this earthquake. I don't think I will. Oh, I was, okay. Alright, this should take him out. <laughs> that got me worried. Oh, got a critical hit. That got me a little bit worried. I, I thought I was going to die completely because of that. Okay, that works out. So we beat Blaine now. So the last gym leader of this gameplay is Giovanni. 
Oh, thank you all for watching. You guys watched me just utterly take down Blaine with a little bit of worry at the end there with Kangaskhan on the Earthquake and Tentacle being taken out. Uh, but other than that, we didn't really have too much of an issue. So, you know, catch us next time when we take down Giovanni, the Viridian Gym Leader. I will see you guys next time. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this content. And if you want to see more, there is more on my channel. Go check it out. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,